Hey everybody, it's Dr. Quad. The doctor is in. We're back with Mafia, the definitive edition. Just wanted to check out what this stuff was. What is this? Well, last even at your leisure and it's entirely... Do you have any find any weapon to explore as you choose? Alright, no, I don't want to do that. Story mode. Or continue on. Hopefully you're doing well. I love the. Uh, just figured I would just jump in and do another one. I love this game so far. It's very immersive. Again, I never played any of the other mafias, and was surprising when I got flipped over. And then you see me looking down because I'm not used to the controls, and I have a little cheat sheet piece of paper there that's got what each control does, and I just didn't know what flipped the car over. It made me um, or flip the car back up. It was truly realistic. We'd have to get out of the car and flip it, and then, of course, we would have been arrested. But um, that's, you know, that's what video games are all about: a little bit of realism, a little bit of fakeness. Looks like a golfer there. All right, ordinary routine. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. Come on, <laughs> I got what did you I know? Finish off. You, Tommy? Come on, there's still a yeah. gas in your tank. Get it Boss back. is waiting for you. <laughs> Thanks. Ignora quel idiota. Arrenditi. Ah, potrai combattere. He's got a suit and everything now. I don't want to miss any magazines. There he is. Sorry I'm late. Take a seat. And it's collection day, boys. So Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Salieri's voice is very familiar. He sounds like that dude. Oh, Vinny Serrano? said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Right, where's Vinny? Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Well, if that's the case, I got a listening ear. He said Morello's still bent since he lost the cars. Ah, what's losing some motors to him? Hey, just the guy. I saw this. And I thought of you. Look at peace. You ever carried a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right. That don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Not at me, you more Good posture, real mean. Now, click, click, click. Bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay, now show me a reload. I opened the chamber and away you go. All right, last thing. Needs to be hidden. Holster. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind something and don't shit yourself. 
Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Oh, thanks, Vinny. Sorry for a little cut there. It wouldn't let me reload. So I had to, um, you know, just adjust my profile. One year since the crash. The worst panic of Wall Street's peacetime history was one year ago today. No mill escape from the wider economic depression that's followed it. Unemployment reached 8% this month, but giving, given the prevailing trend of shuttering businesses, banks, and foreclosed farmsteads, some ec economists when this could uh, double, perhaps even triple in the coming years. Special picture feature showing scenes from every state. Well, wait till now. Haven't seen unemployment yet, I guess. You, you, you know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through, reach inside. Easy. And in the afternoon to f f fix the window back up. Watch. And. Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Hmm. I think Ralphie's undercover. Come on, Tata Tommy. Show me what you can do. I hope you picked a lot. Tommy, come on. The boss told me to show you this, but pick the lock. Okay, it's a car. You got it. Have a it's good not day, even really in the commands. Huh. Always something new they throw in there. First we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. I just tried the wrong way. How do we get out of here? Oh, here we go, okay. Keep shutting that radio off, man. I don't want any copyright claims. Cop walking the beat right there. Yeah, it depends whose car this is, I guess. Oh, God. 
cop is like right behind us. Alright. Turned off. Okay, this is it. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Am I getting sure. out? Just follow my lead. Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha, not so little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. That's good to hear, Al. Um. Dear Berta Rally, this letter's notification you're in default of your obligation to make payments in your agreed loan. He owes money. Real good. Now he's got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I Look know you never hold out on us, but it's good you worry. I mean, how can we protect you and little Julia without payment? You gonna take all day, Tommy? We got places we need to be. You gonna get the dough or what, Tom? We got a cigarette card. Where's the money? Run, fetch! Oh, she's it's on the table, brown envelope. Via di qui. Lasciateci in pace. I got it. We'll see uh, you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. And give our best to your mom, huh? Alright. They wait for Sam and Polly, I think so. Okay, next up we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. Guy used to run this next place, Tom. His name's not Eugene. Guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Polly slammed his head into the counter back in, what, 27, I think? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. We keep some of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs there in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminded too. Sounds good. to the second collection. Unemployment rises again. No end for sight. Tommy. That cuts me off, man. Jesus Christ. All asleep at the wheel? You cut me off, loser.
That definitely looks like Chinatown. God, it's so full of life, it's so cool. This is it. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Am I getting out? No. He's doing the store on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam and he's to let it out on his own. She's got to let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Got to let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. So he says he can swallow a goldfish. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, guy ended up in a wheelchair. Well, he's getting his work out in there. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week, with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And eh, nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. You wanna come out with us again, Tom? Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Jesus. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. What kind of not hard? I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all. I'm not saying that, Sam. I... You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you oughta... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot? I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> When little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. Seems like an open road right here. In the outskirts in the country. Jesus, I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. Safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, we'll also be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes, the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently, the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before Lost Heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. Anyone else starting to miss the side of streets and sidewalks? You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? 
He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. Well, happy to oblige. Yikes. Oh, man. Crazy taxi drivers. All the speed limits up here, okay. Trees, open turn. So cool, you get to drive, man. It just seems so real. I've done some racing games like Forza, but not really any good at them. I wonder how much this um, free roam actually lets to explore. Sorry for the weird cut there, I was just getting sun from my skylight right above my head. I had to pause it for a minute. Alright, I got a feeling some bad stuff's gonna go down at this hotel. Okay, there it is. Finally! For us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. All right, we okay. Oh. No smoking. Gonna be gunshots, guaranteed. I knew it. Tom! Tom, I, I took one. Jesus Christ, Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Where's the hell? They're trying to beat information out. I gotta get you to a doctor. I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. Let's go. Get indoctrinated here. All right, here we go. Go get him! Yeah, I must have run him off. Where'd he go? Maybe he's over there.
How many bullets these guys take? Ooh, good headshot. Not much ammo left. Same one. Better head. How do you get health in this game, man? Shitter. Go downstairs. Oh, first day. Look at that. I'm gonna get to it. What does that mean? Sam. Oh, they really went to work on you, buddy. Christ. Uh, come on. You'll be all right. You're tough as nails. Sure.
back at it. Come on, man. No. Oh, that's bullshit. Oh, got stuck, man. He's okay. Inside. Then go get the money! One left. on the inside. Huh. I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. What do we got in my car? Wow, what a car chase. It was great. Intermezzo, 1938. So that's how a regular Palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money. Lord and over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. 
Back then, Celieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Celieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping at its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. All right, well, if you liked the video, hit like. If not, dislike, perfectly fine. Subscribe if you want some more. Yeah, that's the end anyway. We are here at Dr. Joey Fosman, was just Dr. driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. No, maybe not. God damn it! Moron! You're driving with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Oh, that was our license Jesus, Barry, Joseph, Dom, Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. Do you know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh no. You, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. The grills look bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin again. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Ah. Nasty, nasty, nasty. And the lesson learned is don't bump the nuts car. Oh my god, that was so violent. Uh, someone spun your tail, pal. You got an informant right there says Marilla made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Morello left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I don't square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Well, maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh, have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We were running booze, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Right, I think that's the end. If you liked the video, hit like. If not, dislike. Perfectly fine. Subscribe if you want some more. It's Dr. Quads and the Doctor's out. Be safe.